Dr. Vaijayanthi. I am a fertility specialist. Today, let us take a look at how we diagnose PCOS or in other words, how does a woman know that she has got PCOS? Now, it is not that a woman can take herself to a lab, get a blood test done and we can diagnose PCOS. It doesn't work that way. And how does it work? So, there are some symptoms which are specific to PCOS. So, the doctor, your doctor might ask you for some symptoms which are related to PCOS. So, what are these symptoms? One is women with PCOS do have what's called irregular cycles. So, what do we mean by irregular cycles? Normal, normally, regular cycles occur somewhere between 28 to 35 days. So, when a woman has irregular menstrual cycles, it can prolong to as much as say 40-45 days or in some women, a period happens only once in 2 to 3 months or in others, the period may not happen until tablets are taken to induce a period. So, these are uh, now referred to as irregular cycles. The other commonest reason is the symptom of PCOS. Actually, many women are quite surprised when they visit us with fertility issues and PCOS is diagnosed in them. So, the other commonest reason why PC was women visit a doctor is that they are they find it difficult to conceive. So, the third aspect is that some women have uh, excessive hair growth in unwanted places. So, what do we mean by that? They have hair growth in the face, particularly in the upper lip, chin, or in the chest, at the back. So, and they also suffer from bad acne, and some women also have baldness. So, these are all these indi these symptoms indicate that they have an excess of the male hormone called androgens or testosterone in women suffering from PCOS. So, just when you present with these symptoms, your doctor might ask you to take a hormonal blood test to check if there are any hormonal issues. So, the doctor might also suggest that you take an ultrasound to look for the ovaries to see if there is any presence of polycystic ovaries. So, now once we do all this, then we are able to diagnose polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. Now, when we talk about an ultrasound picture, what are we looking at when we when we want to diagnose a woman as having PCOS? So here we call it as a polycystic ovary. So let me first talk about how a normal ovary looks like. Then we we'll look into how the polycystic ovary looks on the ultrasound. In a normal ovary, when we do an ultrasound, we see these dark circles. They are uh, follic medically called follicles. These are sac containing the eggs. In a normal ovary, we see about seven to eight sacs in each ovary. However, in a woman with polycystic ovaries, we see lot more follicles. So, what do we mean by lot more follicles? We see around about 12 to 20 in each ovary. So, basically, to call it a polycystic ovary and ultrasound, we see lot more follicles than what we see in a normal ovary. So, a combination of this, if you have symptoms of PCOS along with polycystic ovary presence on ultrasound with or without hormonal disturbances, then we diagnose a woman as having polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. Once you have been diagnosed with PCOS, you have to understand that it is a lifestyle disease. So, it is important to adopt some measures in place so that you adopt a healthy lifestyle so that the quality of life is good even though you are diagnosed with PCOS. If you have any queries related to PCOS uh, with fertility issues, uh, please reach out to us at Mother to be Fertility. Thank you. As you travel towards high tech city with Shilpa Raman on your left, you will hit a signal with high tech Charminar on right. At this signal, take a left, and Mother to be is just 170 meters on your left.